Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to be generating um, some personalized articles that can be used on Buffer properties um, that are going to help promote my own content and my own websites. Um, so I'm going to be using Prompt Generator AI and I'm going to be creating a new strategy to do this. And I want to be showing you how we can create these personalized articles um, that would help us create content for any business that we're actually looking to promote. Um, so I'm going to actually show you how to do this now. So I've created myself a little description about me um, and about my business. Um, so I'm just going to read it out to you um, to show you exactly what I'm feeding chat GPT about my business and then I'm going to show you the prompt in fact let's have a look at the prompt first um, and then I'm going to show you exactly um, what business details are going to go in what prompt is going to go in and then we'll have a look at the final output as well and the idea about this is I actually need about 10 buffer properties okay so um, I need 10 unique articles to put on there so I'm going to be using the same chat session and I'm going to be adding about five keywords because we can do five keywords at a time with prompt generator AI and we're going to be creating five articles at a time so anyway here's the prompt that I'm going to be adding write a long form informative article written in a professional tone about the keyword and then my keyword is going to go in here so let's just say about the keyword SEO customize and personalize the article using these details and then I got a business detail shortcode in there and that's where this is going to be added in there okay and then I've written and then I've written the article should be in depth that includes relevant frequently asked questions FAQs with answers begin the article okay we don't need begin the article do we Okay, and then I've written use markdown format. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So I've written Abbas Ravji or Abs is a renowned SEO specialist and internet marketer with over 12 years of experience. He creates innovative automated software solutions for website owners, SEO practitioners and agencies. Abbas has generated millions in revenue from his products and affiliate partners and his affiliate partnerships. Abs's goal is to empower businesses by increasing targeted traffic, visitor engagement and sales through his cutting edge tools and expertise. He has created tools that help in areas of keyword research, website creation, backlink building, content generation, and WordPress SEO optimization. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be giving about my, about me and my business, and it's going to help me promote my own websites. Okay, so this is the content that I'm going to be generating from ChatGPT is going to actually be going on sites such as Blogger, such as Google Sites, such as, you know, um, free WordPress blogs and, and, and what have you um, that are going to help create backlinks that are going to promote my own website. And if you was doing this for, let's just say, um, your client who is a plumber, for example, then you'd add things about their business. So, for example, um, plumbers for you have been in, uh, I don't know, provide services to un, un, unblock I don't know sewages and <laughs> I don't know whatever it is you add details about their business so anyway once we've got these details let's go ahead and add them inside of the software okay so on this occasion because it's just the one prompt I'm going to add it directly to the software itself I'm going to go ahead and create a strategy I can create one more strategy I can remove strategies down here as well let's go ahead and just create a brand new strategy down here and we'll call this business article okay and I'm going to go ahead and add that prompt down here Okay, and I'm going to click on plus and I can double click this now and I can see and make sure the prompt has been added in there correctly. And it has fantastic. And I just need to make sure that I tell the software what I want to save. And obviously it's going to only be the one output. So I'm going to save the output down here and I'm going to click on save. Okay, so that's been added down there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and go to business profile. And in business profile, I can add a new business profile. I've already got one for myself, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this and I'm going to paste in what I just showed you down here. I've actually adjusted it a little bit. I actually got ChatGPT to help me write this, guys. Um, so I just used the, I'll show you how to do, I'll show you how I've done it in a minute, in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to paste that in there and click on update. Okay, so basically the way that I got ChatGPT to help me was just to use this down here. I was like, this is, uh, you know, here's some details about my business. Help me write a short, you know, description that outlines what I do and then I just removed the spaces and removed some of the words and and you know it, it wrote a lot of it for me and, and I adjusted a little bit of it as well so anyway let's go over to automation um, I'm going to go ahead and add five keywords okay so I'm just going to tell chat GPT I'm going to go um, give me five popular keywords related to SEO okay so if you were doing it for plumbers you do plumbers whatever oops I'm actually using chat GPT for 
Okay, so we can do something like keyword research. Okay, we'll actually open this up and we'll do it down here. Okay, we'll do keyword research. We'll do on-site optimization. We'll do backlink building. We'll do search. I'm not even writing what it's telling me, am I? Search engine optimization and we'll do content marketing okay so that's five keywords there we're going to choose the actual strategy so the strategy was going to be business article the business profile we're going to use is abs and i'm going to save this to my folder okay and i'm going to slow down i'm going to reduce the delays and I'm going to use the same chat session okay in fact what I should have done guys is I'm going to actually close out of this now I'm going to quickly save these I'm sure they save over anyway um, I'm going to go into the strategy one more time and I'm going to edit this a little bit okay so I've, I've wrote down here write a long form informative article written in a professional tone about the keyword keyword customize the per customize and personalize the article using these details business details the article should be in-depth that includes relevant frequently asked questions faqs with answers use markdown format okay and then I'm going to do um, make sure the article is unique from the last one you created okay so this is the one prompt still okay and if i generate short code you can see it's only the one short code or the one output that it can do okay so i'm going to save this and update it so basically what i'm doing now is i'm using yeah it's been saved over so what i'm doing i'm using the same chat session to create five articles and in the prompt i'm telling chat gpt to make sure that the article is unique from the last article created okay i'm not using chat gpt4 i'm using chat gpt 3.5 and i'm going to click on start okay so here's the first article that's going to create what i'll do i'll keep this open so then we can see this go through let's just see where it's giving us some details about my business Okay, it doesn't look like it's given anything about my business so far. Looks like ChatGPT is. Oops, look at that. Looks like it's going through a few things down here, so I'll stop this. Oh, I don't think I've selected the right category. Oh, well, it's giving a, a wrong prompt. Write a long form informative article in professional about the keyword, keyword reason, customize a personal article using these details. Ah, so it hasn't pulled in. Oh, I didn't even select the business profile. Silly me. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over to, oh, I'm gonna do that again. Okay, and I'm gonna select my business profile as abs. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on start. There we go. Here we go. So it's already started to customize it for me. As you can see down here, um, as the world digital market, did, 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 um, why it's important and how Abbas Ravage's innovative automated software solutions can help businesses achieve success. Success. Okay, um, and it should write more about me down here. Here we go, Abbas Ravage's innovative automated software solutions. So this would be basically about your own customers or clients or your own websites. Um, and it's really cool because um, you would have to go over it, obviously. And if you find that it is giving details about softwares that you haven't created or things that you don't do, um, then what you might have to do is um, adjust the prompt um, to give it more details about your business. Because what I found in the past when, when doing this um, is it's actually started to give lists of software that are not done by me. Um, and it's giving lists of software such as for, such as for example, SEM Rush or Ahref uh, or Majestic SEO. And it talks about them as if I've created them, but I didn't create them. So you would have to proof this to make sure um, everything is correct. But you can see it's fully um, customized for me and my business.
Okay, so we can actually leave this running while it's working. We can go over to the editor and we can start looking at these articles. So as we can see down here, this was at 11.04. So this is keyword research, that's keyword research. Okay, so this was the first one that we, we ignored because we didn't give it um, our profile details, but here we go, 11.05. So we'll take this one in. Okay, so this is nice, 957 words. Okay, I would need to proof this, obviously, um, just to make sure the details are correct. And that is if you're worried about the details being correct or not. Um, we'll go over to the second one down here, um, on-site optimization. This one is 894 words. Our strategy is innovative automated software solutions. Okay, and we'll go over to the fourth one or the third one. And this one is 822 words <clears throat> and this is about the backlink oh, this is about backlink building let's see if it's done another one nope go over to chat gpt see what's happening oh i think it's just finished the other one and it's on the last one now so here we go search engine optimization this one is 830 words it does seem to be writing kind of the same heading here about strategies, innovative automated software solutions. Um, but I'm sure that these details are probably going to be different unless they're the exact details that I've added in here myself. But everything else should be cool. Oops, it's done. It's actually popped up here, as you can see. Um, okay, so um, the last one is content marketing. And this one was 777 words. So this is pretty cool, guys. So this allows you to now create um, content um, for that is personalized to your business um, around the keywords of your choice um, that you can put onto social media sites. So the, this is exactly what I need these um, this content for. I need this content to put on social media sites um, that's going to have a backlink that's going to be pointing to my website. Um, and um, the person that's going to be helping me or that's going to be creating the content, that's going to be creating the um, blogs and everything for me, um, obviously he needs content and he can go out there and create the content for me. Um, but it won't be as personalized as this. So I'm just going ahead and creating the content and then I'm going to get him to add this on there for me. Um, it's actually one of our staff that does it anyway, guys. Um, so anyway, um, I thought I'll just do this video and take the opportunity to show you how you can personalize your prompts or have prompts that use personal or business details um, and personalize those articles um, and have multiple articles created for you in the same chat session while telling ChatGPT to keep those articles unique as well. So if we have a look at the actual prompt we'll see that we added that uniqueness at the bottom when you have completed your okay here we go um you okay make sure the article is unique from the last one you created okay so this is kind of like telling chat gpt to make sure that it's all um unique for us okay so um this is how you can work with this guys um and if you want this prompt i can share this prompt with you just let me know um otherwise you know this is just the prompt that I've made up. I haven't spent ages on this prompt. Um, in fact, it's the first prompt that I've made trying to make this one up. Um, and by adjusting them and, and tweaking them, you'll be able to get even better results. Um, so like I mentioned to you before, when I've used a prompt like this, um, it's used products that belong to other people and it's tried to say that I had those products. Um, so you could actually go ahead and customize the business details and give it details about other products that you do or other services that you provide um, so that it can you know really personalize those um, articles for you so the more details you can give about yourself and your business the better it's going to work and obviously the prompt you can reuse that prompt um, and just tweak your business details and see if you get a better result otherwise if you see that it's outputting details that you don't like um, then you'll have to adjust the prompt um, for that